So you're looking, in fact, from one lithospheric plate across the San Andreas Fault to another. The fault where it's more obvious is described by Dr. Crowell of the University of California. This is the San Andreas Fault, this six inch wide zone right down through here. And on this side, over here on the right, we have ordinary soil. Note that the bushes up near the top of the cliff are growing in it. On this side, we have broken up white rock. Now the fault last moved in this area in 1857. So we're seeing the fault that moved recently where we brought soil against very much broken up rocks. In this zone here, we have the clay-like fault rock, like uh, we've seen before. The results of each movement on the San Andreas Fault and the neighboring faults is carefully plotted and printed on a visual readout screen. Each flash represents the occurrence of an earthquake. On the San Andreas Fault itself, the lack of quakes in the San Francisco area shows that the fault is dangerously locked there. The result of past movement is described by Dr. Crowell in the field. The outcrops we're looking at up on the hill consist of white granite. This is very ordinary granite and uh, is really quite different from the rocks we have right down next to the fault zone. Down here, for example, we have the rock gneiss. Notice that it's green and splotchy. We're uh, located now on a 50-foot thick slice of material within the major fault zone. See, here is a major shear which comes down through here. And as we move along the outcrop, the rocks get more and more sheared and broken. And right in here, they turn to a dark greenish brown color. And here's a reddy streak. This is uh, ground up rock, the, uh, broken down and milled and fractured and fragmented so that it's down to the size of clay. If you were to wet it, it would be very much like clay. It is material you see of the Earth's crust, which has been so milled down in this major fault zone that the larger pieces have been completely lost. Now this fault zone itself, the fault zone proper, is several feet wide, and let's cross it now. It comes along through here, way over to a point about right here, and this is the edge of the fault zone itself. And then these rocks here are very different indeed. They consist of pieces of several rock types. They are in a fossil scree deposit, which was eroded from a piece of high ground beyond the fault several million years ago. We saw that on the other side of the fault, however, we have white granite. There is none of that material here. The source area for this material has therefore been displaced a matter of about 10 miles. We have blocks of material such as this and this embedded in a muddy matrix. This is the fossil scree deposit and was eroded from across the fault and dumped down at the